So this show is uh, called Nostalgia, Pride and Fear. It's talking about the nostalgia of what we had, the pride of what we have today, and the fear of what we might lose. We selected works that went with each other to create a flow within the gallery. They've all come together with the idea of what the biosphere, uh, their surroundings, the natural surroundings mean to them. It's beautiful that I met all of these people from all over the world who were at, in Bombay at the same time with their works here. My work is mainly of the relationship of men with nature. Most of the works were done in Baranasi at um, Kriti Gallery Residency. Every landscape is a garden itself and it's a garden that reflects our nature as humans. So the residency was based on creating or reconstructing the memory of a garden through memory, through imagination and then actually being at the garden and painting from the garden itself. So the idea with every show is to create gardens within the galleries and within the exhibitions and Garden not just meaning the plant itself, but like the way a landscape is constructed. It's important to address subjects which are relevant for society and which could inspire for certain changes. And I think that's probably our role, like to philosophize about like how life is working and try to create change in some way. In my work, I'm basically looking at the way um, cultural forms and scientific forms merge, and also the way natural forms and mechanical forms merge. And so what we're looking at here is work that I have been working on for a while, a couple of years. And um, I am challenged with the fact that I use living organisms in my work. And so I need to somehow figure out how to preserve them so that they can fit into this traditional kind of commercial art mold in a way. <laughs> so how can it be collected so that other people can see it um, in, in history? So living things obviously die. So that's what led me to create um, what's more than documentation but actually um, photographic prints. So this is what I'm standing next to and these are the um, living tissue when they're um, new. and. This is how they look after time and they've decayed. And <laughs> it's latex, it's canvas, as in the canvas that is used in the collars of shirts. And uh, then it's a lot of the grit and the DNA of the tree itself. And that's about it. That was uh, a root that I found lying in the middle of the road that I picked up and it was dead and I cast it in. That was about death and hope that someday, you know, this is not what's going to happen all the time. These are more memories because they're actually, um, the tree is living and I'm taking a part of it and preserving it for a future. It's, it's actually taking the DNA of the tree. So basically, I mean, if I kind of connect everything, I cast. I, I take things that exist and I create memories of them and I maybe change them a little bit here and there. So in, in that way, everything I do is in that relationship. So whether it's my body, whether it's now trees, it's all a process of casting. It's all a process of maintaining and keeping. I've been living in Mumbai for nine months and uh, for me this and especially the video is very much inspired by Mumbai. Uh, when I came here the first feeling I had I wanted to have a remote control and play pose. That's the first thing I wanted to do. I thought it was going so fast and everything. And uh, I'm working on the, um, the tension between nature and the city. I've been working on this subject for years now. And Mumbai is such a place to be, to feel this tension. Nature is my main subject. And uh, on this, I wanted to focus on what in human nature is uh, making us look like uh, animals. And uh, those are showing businessmen, but I also did others with babies, uh, which in a way are acting like animals when they just born. I'm living in a north of Mumbai and just in front of my window I can see they're building 11 50 floors towers and I'm making photo every week and I can see them mushrooming like uh, coming out from the soil like mushrooms. In the art history if you take the paintings of the 18th century you always see a very small character in a huge landscape and admiring landscape and a uh, so I think I'm very much inspired by romanticism also, but what I must say is everything I do is a result of uh, exploration and when I do something, when I paint, because I also paint landscape, this landscape is always the result of uh, maybe 10 days walk in the nature to arrive there. I've been working on nature for more than 20 years. And at that time, there was not such a strong uh, ecological awareness, consciousness. But now, 
uh, in other countries at least, people are very much aware of the importance of nature. So this kind of work, they, I think, uh, they, yeah, they're interested in artist view on nature.